One of the most important lessons a surgeon has to learn is to let go. Lawrence Gabriel, Department of Homeland Security. Chief Richard Weber, what can I do for you? I was sent here to investigate the riot. Everything is fine. Good. Then it shouldn't take me long to deem this situation stable, get the antitoxins in here, and keep the governor from declaring martial law. We have to let go of control. The sooner I get to the bottom of things, the sooner you'll get the antitoxins. We have to let go of grudges. Are you crying? What? You know me. I don't cry. In the last 10 years, I've seen you cry three times. Two from a woman, once during Gladiator. Maximus. All right, it's Han. She doesn't want me. Me, Dr. Mark Sloan. You know, there's plenty other heads of cardiothoracic surgery in the sea. None of them can do a total anomalous pulmonary venous return like Han. You need to get over her. I don't know if I can. Han's not good enough for you. Yeah, right. It's true. Not only do you know what you want, but you're willing to go after it. Han's afraid to even admit what she wants. Yeah, I guess you're right. She said I'm unlovable. We have to let go of pain. Don't take this the wrong way, but if there's one thing you are, it's lovable. Can I help? finished here. Maybe I could help you with your other patients, and then maybe we could talk about... I'm not happening, Dr. O'Malley. I just wanted to apologize. What are you apologizing for? For telling you how I feel? 
No, wrong answer. What you should apologize for is making me believe that we were real actual friends when the whole time it was just some stupid crush. We have to let go of relationships. And the people we love the most. I need you to promise me Christina will be okay. How can I promise a thing like that? You say I promise you, Meredith. I just need you to tell me this one thing. I need it. If you don't say it, I, I, I don't know. Meredith, you know better than anyone that no one can promise something like that. Especially not a surgeon. Stop being a surgeon for one second and be the man who loves me. Just for one second. If you love me, Derek, you'll do this. Okay. I promise. Thank you. And sometimes, we have to let go of our patience. What are you? People aren't exactly getting in line to treat you, and they can afford to spare a candy striper. Go. Nope. You're not getting your way this time. If you want me gone, then you'll have to get well and throw me at yourself. Hey, better me than that guy. I, I can't see that guy. The ones that just probably aren't going to make it. There you go. 400 milligrams. That should help with the pain. I can handle the pain. It's the blurred vision that we need to fix. Hand me my book. Vince, you could help by getting out of my way. Yang, I want you to report on yourself, just like it's rounds. What? You can do it. Christina Yang, admitted with diphtheria. Antibiotics were given, but she suffered an accidental head contusion. 
Patient was intubated, but breathing function is presently normal. However, patient has complained to deaf ears of blurred vision, as well as partial facial paralysis. Diphtheria can cause cranial nerve damage. We need Derek. This will show us which of your cranial nerves have been affected. Don't talk to me like I'm a patient. You are a patient. You're losing function in your optic, trigeminal, and ocular motor nerves. They control your optical motor functions, facial muscles, speech. Okay, how do we fix this? How do we fix me? Usually the nerves return in recovery, but if you don't receive the antitoxin soon, it could be permanent. So we just wait? Yes, we wait. Dr. Yang's condition has worsened. If the doctors can't even protect themselves here, then the situation is unstable. The doctors here are some of the most devoted people I have ever met. Then why were they responsible for a riot? We have nine new diphtheria cases that need to be isolated. If I declare the situation here unstable, the medical corps from the Seattle National Guard will handle all further quarantining. Trust me, I'm the one you want handling this. I'd like to take your word on it, but the governor needs more. I'll need those lab results. You're delaying medical care. I'm trying to work as fast as possible. We're on the same team here, Mr. Berger. Is there something I can help you with, Agent Gabriel? I need to talk to the doctors that were involved with the incidents surrounding the riot. I would love to have the luxury of allowing my staff to sit down with you, but they simply don't have the time right now. Why not? Some of the doctors involved in the riot are recovering from injuries of their own, and they need time to recuperate. I understand that, but I have to talk to them. Again, 
As soon as everything's cleared up, I'll get you the antitoxin. You've left me no choice. I know you were involved, but I don't know how. And Dr. Bailey, who caused this riot? It was my fault. That's all you need to know. What about Dr. Stevens and Dr. Torres? I told you it was my fault, and my fault alone. Do you think Chief Weber handled the situation appropriately? Chief Weber is awesome. I think he handled this situation like the pro that he is. I have full confidence in the decisions he made before, during, and after the riot. I'm glad to hear that you think so highly of Chief Weber. It's a shame he'll probably take the fall for all of this. What do you mean? Well, somebody has to be held responsible, and since he's the chief, the blame will ultimately lie on him. Thank you for your time, Dr. Torres. Wait! It's all my fault. Richard had absolutely no knowledge of the incident. And what incident would that be? Look, all you need to know is I'm to blame and no one else. I'm willing to accept the consequences. You sure you want to agree to that without knowing what the consequences are? I need you to tell me what part you played in the riot, Dr. Stevens. The patient saw me using the unguarded entrance. That's what caused the riot. That's funny, because both Dr. Bailey and Dr. Torres said they were responsible. They're lying. It was me. Fire me, or whatever it is you came here to do. Just get Christina the antitoxin. Your staff is making this harder than it should be, Chief Weber. 
You have one hour to tell me the whole truth. And if you refuse, I'm calling in the medical corps. And I think it's safe to say that none of you will practice medicine in this country ever again. Sleeping? Hiding. I've been asked to give a testimonial. So, I guess you're just gonna turn us in. The last four days should have been the most challenging of my life, but with you around, they were somehow... okay. Good, even. But you have to tell him the truth. Yes. Just don't tell him Bailey and Callie were involved. Tell him it was only me. It's not as simple as that. This thing is all over the news. There'll be hearings, testimonies. These are good doctors. Well, it's not like you were honest with me about your little kidnapping plan. I didn't want to get you involved. No, you didn't want me to stop you. I wish there was another way. Dr. Torres, you should be in bed. I'm going to take the blame for the riot. Absolutely not. Chief, please. It makes sense. This whole thing is my fault anyway, and I don't want anyone else to be hurt. You are not the only one to blame here. Please, just let me do this. Dr. Torres, I'm really disappointed in you. I never would have thought you'd be a quitter and take the easy way out. Chief, at this point, it's either me or you as far as the blame goes. I choose me. Finally. S sorry, I was... Don't care. If you'd been any later, we would have had to amputate Miss Mixed Martial Arts Fighter's shins. You 
ever done a fasciotomy before? I assisted on one with this marathon runner. Here's an idea. You shut up for the rest of the surgery, and then you can go find Lexi and uh, talk about marathon runners. Lexi hates me. What'd you do? Disagree with her over your favorite inspirational kitten poster? sorry. Oh no. You even think about feeling sorry for me for any reason at all, and I kick your ass. Lexi hates me for ruining our friendship. Nice work. But she hates me more for ruining her friendship with you. We never had a relationship. Yeah, you did. And so I screwed it up. Oxygen saturation's dropping. I need a suction, a high-flow oxygen mask, the crash cart, and the RT if you could find them. Fast. Connect the suction, get the mask ready. She's almost unconscious. Haven't intubated someone in a while. Please order a chest x-ray. She may need a trait by the end of the day. Dr. Shepard, she's not going to make it till the end of the day. She'll make it. She's tough as nails. Wouldn't make any promises. Don't make a liar out of me. You're becoming quite the exciting medical case, Yang. You'd be drooling over you. Let's adjust your tube and oxygen levels.
What are you doing? I'm going to see Christina. I'm sure she would appreciate your loyalty, but you can't. I need to. You can't stop me. Yes, I can. You don't have clearance. Sorry. <gasps> Have you made a decision? No, I haven't. You're in charge of this investigation, not me. Whatever you found, you found. Whatever you didn't, well, you didn't. I know this is a difficult situation, but I have to do my job just like you have to do yours. It's in everyone's best interest that you cooperate. My decision is final. I would call a lawyer if I were you. do that, Agent Gabriel. Don't think I'm going down without a fight. I've worked too hard. I'm sorry it has to come to this. I'll just have to go solely on Agent Berger's testimonial. I'm not going to bend to your orders just because your department has a higher budget than mine. Very well. I'm recommending that the CDC strip you of all duties. You will leave this hospital at once. the CDC to save lives, not to get pushed around by bureaucratic idiots. You know nothing about medicine or disease control. All you've done since you got here is interrupt treatment and deny patients the rights to the drugs they need. This is your chance to do what's right, Agent Gabriel. This is what it all comes down to. What's more important, all these politics and egos and processes, or saving lives? Your call. Oh, my God. 
You mean stupid. Now we'll never get the antitoxin. Did you... Page me? I did. Did you just lock us in during a lockdown? You've got to the count of five to unlock the door, Bambi. Alex loves you, and Lexi loves you, and I can prove it. Totally care about each other. That was a really stupid way to try to make a point. Eh, I got in the way of you two being happy. I can take a punch in the face if it means you'll try again. I gotta go find some ice now. I should. Uh, me too. How is she? Touch and go. Any word on the antitoxin? Well, my last conversation with Agent Gabriel didn't go... Her O2 stats are dropping. But she's intubated! Her lung collapsed. Grab that crash cart, she needs a chest tube. Derek! Not now.
Surgeons are very stubborn people, which means letting go isn't always easy. Just the man I wanted to see. Why is that? I have the antitoxins. You have no idea how badly we need this. It took a lot of ass kissing and sweet talking, but I was finally able to get the higher ups to agree that saving people's lives was more important than the investigation. Sometimes we find that if we stand our ground, we'll get what we need. Thank you. My pleasure. We need to get to the quarantine area right away. Follow me. How the heck did an intubation tube do all this damage? I've never heard of it tearing straight through a trachea. My guess? The swelling dislodged it and caused it to shift. Maybe we can save the people we care about. Dr. Shepard, I, I can't get this bleeding under control. Tube must have torn something else. V-Fib! Still got nothing. Don't quit on me. I've got a pulse. Thank you.
I know everyone is worried about Christina, but we have a chance to make things right. Let's get these people what they need. Each person diagnosed needs one injection of the antitoxin. I have divided the patients between all of us. Let's get to work. and the people under our care. <laughs> I'm not in the mood. Thanks anyway. What? No, you're needed in OR2 immediately. This better be good. Dr. Sloan, if you don't help me repair this patient's cartoid artery, he will bleed out in less than three seconds. What happened? I was doing an endarterectomy when I severed the cartoid artery. I clamped one end, but the top half retracted into his face. Can you find it? I can try. Dr. Sloan? Thank you. What the hell is that? No crude innuendo or unwanted advance? Just walking out of the OR without a comment? Why? Did you have any other arteries that need inspecting? Ephemeral, perhaps? I'll see you at Joe's in 15 minutes, where you can buy me a drink, then we can go home, separately. We'll see.
Dr. Torres, how many times do I have to tell you that you need to rest? I just wanted to thank you. What you did was really amazing. Don't mention it, Dr. Torres. It was my duty and my pleasure. honored to be a doctor here, and if you'll have me, I'd like to stay. There will always be a place for you here. Welcome back, Dr. Torres. I never left. We can hold on to those important to us. It's okay. Y you don't have to explain or anything. George thinking you're in love with me, that was just crazy. Looks like I might be in Seattle for longer than I planned. My boss says they're gonna review the entire situation. But until then, I am officially on vacation. begin to cover it. I am in such debt to you. Then you better start paying me back. I accept personal checks, steaks cooked medium rare, various first editions. Anything else? What did you have in mind? Create new beginnings. Try not to hit me again, ever. Deal. And even repair old ones. Hey, I'll give you guys some time. Come back, though. Later.
long day. Okay, we don't need to be corny. You almost died. Corniness is called for. How are you feeling? Like crap, but I'm alive. and go after your boyfriend. That's not lame. Oh, like you care. I just wanted to say, I just wanted to, but if we're really lucky, we don't have to let go at all. 